Lucy, you were wincing throughout that entire category, but never more so than at the very end. You have declared that a winner. No voting necessary. You have yeah. said, you have declared that uh, that the Vince Wilfork thing was the worst of the moments we've had. That might be the most violently uncomfortable I've ever been in my entire life. Well, one of the things that's great about it is just the cadence and accent of the sentence of Haymaker that he hit me in the face with. Well, the thing is, uh, I got a new wife now. <laughs> It's comedically, that had to hurt. it's comedically <laughs> perfect. The pause and the thing is, how do I say this gently? Well, the thing is, uh, I got a new wife now. <laughs> that uh is him being like, how can I do this for Dan here? <laughs> He's setting up himself. Well, the thing is, well, the thing uh, is, uh, I got a new wife now. <laughs> so gentle. <laughs> I have a new wife sentence. Now. I have a new wife now. Somehow in the process of his divorce, you're the person we felt bad for, which is weird. Well, the thing is, uh, I got a new wife now. <laughs> All right. Let's... About that love stuff that you said I'm <laughs> yeah, so great yeah, at. Whatever. <laughs> then you started lashing out at me for no reason. <laughs> yeah, well, I was clearly uncomfortable. The reason is that... <laughs> the, You're always there with the... Happy, uh, congrats on the new marriage. Yeah, you were not helpful in any way. I feel like Stu God's caught a stray there that he did not deserve. Thank you. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. That's going to happen when I'm horribly embarrassed because uh, I have a new wife now. Can we go ahead and get to best dismissal, sir? Certainly, this is a Stugatz loaded category. And now, the Suey nominees for Best Dismissal. Udonis Haslam dismisses Mike Ryan and the Heat Doubters. Well, we got people like Mike Ryan of the Levitar Show who are off the bandwagon, not trying to get back on the bandwagon. How does that make you feel? I mean, once you choose your side, you got to stay over there. That's, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's how it always has been with me. I mean, I'm not a guy that likes to flip-flop and, you know, choose, um, you know, the, the good side or the side that's winning or the side that was winning then and go back to the other side. Once you choose your side, just stay on your side. We all right with that. Stan Van Gundy dismisses the movie Banshees of Inisherin. They were both telling me, oh, you got to watch Banshees of Inisherin. I don't get it. It's getting it great was depressing. It's getting great it reviews. It was terrible. I mean, <laughs> no, wow. that's a terrible one. The it was worst depressing. movie I have seen in a long time, and it's one of those. I stuck with it. I wanted to quit. Stan is not you know, spitting right now. An hour into the movie, and I'm like, it must get better at the end. No, it kept getting worse. It was uh, <laughs> absolutely a horrible movie. Poppy Lebatard dismisses the TNT and ESPN broadcasters. All these high-paid analysts. I don't want to mention names, TNT, <laughs> ESPN, you know, oh, yeah, they, they, they are dead. They cannot, they, they, they're not going to make it, you know, even if they win in, if they lose in, in Miami. I need to calm you down. I that's need to right, calm if they you lose down. in Miami, they don't got a chance in Boston. Oh, they are going to have their ass, you know what, in Boston, you know. <laughs> they were wrong. They were, are they going to lose their job? No. Are they going to get a cut in pay? No. What are they going to do? Keep predicting what is the obvious. They are going to say, oh, the Nuggets are going to win. Oh, Denver, the altitude. And you know what? The Heat are going to win it all. <laughs> Mike Ryan dismisses Wembenyama. Wembenyama. Not good. Oh, this at, is this. At basketball? He got swept in the finals. I think he's going to get hurt. He's a turnover machine. And what do you think he shoots from three? Take a guess. He takes a lot. 8%. Oh, you think 30%? I'd, I'd kill if he shot 30%. Man, woo, draft that guy number one. Jeremy Taché dismisses USF. Top five wins under the Jeff Scott era at USF. So starting with number five, this season against Howard. <laughs> That is USF's one win this season. <laughs> Number four, his first and only in-state victory in 2021 over FAMU. Wow, you were really dragging USF here in a way that's not happening a lot nationally. Number three, he started his tenure in 2020 with a victory over the Citadel. <laughs> much of a resume here number two number two his one conference win in the american athletic conference in 2021 against temple and number one doesn't exist he only won four games in three years <laughs> <laughs> all right miami marlins radio play-by-play -play guy kyle seeloff dismisses billy and chris's broadcasting ability 1-0 pitch fouled back to the screen that was the one two <laughs> one two 
<laughs> Did I say 1-0? Yeah. I was looking right at it, too. That's okay. Yeah. Ah, the second visit from Mel this inning. How many people do you think have turned their radio off? <laughs> Whoa. I think that there's radios being turned on all over America, even though you can only listen to this in South Florida. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Here's a little something for you on Joey. You know, he had the hamstring issues last year, right? Of course. Right. Um, he actually learned how to run again this offseason. Hmm. The doc told him, we got to change this up or it's going to keep on happening as the fastball runs inside ball two. So now he runs backwards. What was he doing yeah, before? Right. Like, he, two, steps, <laughs> two steps with one leg and then the one with the other. <laughs> Two one, a breaking ball called strike. Two. He just found out that I can stay healthy if I just run backwards everywhere. So he backpedals every all the bases. That's so stupid. The two two. Juju Gotti dismisses Dan. You got to know I'm a big uh, Colombo guy. Salute to that boy. Okay, okay, I don't think that's <laughs> proof. I don't think that's proof. Yeah, right? I, think that, I think that could no, be. A, a, I think that's a lie. I don't think that's he said a, salute. I don't I mean, think that is evidence. Salute to that boy. It's it suggests <laughs> camouflage. It suggests that Juju has no idea what we're talking about, um, and now is just googling it. Uh, he is I'm cheating. not googling it. My grandmama stayed in the country. I watched the Braves. I watched Columbo. I watched Matt Lock. I watched Andy Griffin. Yeah, uh, you Glenn, sir, but you go to classic. the penalty box, Dan. Dan, take oh, your ass to the penalty box. You tell him, Juju. Call me a liar. You tell him, Juju. Back to you, Stu. Jim Brockmeyer dismisses <laughs> David Sampson. What, what's your name again, sir? David Sam David Sampson, as in Sampson and Delilah. <laughs> Never heard that one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Was that, was that just a little trite for you? I didn't come up with something clever enough? I'm just trying to get your name right because I don't know who the heck you are. Why am I here if mom and dad are gone? Why am I being forced to sit at the kids' table with David Sampson and Delilah? I can actually assure you, Brockmeyer, that I am perfectly fine handling the show. Okay, Dave. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, point well taken, but and I mean no disrespect now, but you can't handle shit, sir, okay? <laughs> Jim Brockmeyer dismisses David Sampson again. Oh, that David Sampson <laughs> weirdo. Because <laughs> he was not, he was not the fun substitute teacher who'd wheel out a TV and play a VHS tape of Armageddon in science class. He was the, the weird one who would eat an egg salad sandwich while clipping his toenails into the trash can and ranting about Ronald Reagan and the guy kept talking about how his ass was smooth, smoother than a newborn's cheek. He wouldn't stop bragging about his bare buttocks to me. Chris Whittingham dismisses New York City. It's just like the, the, the subway, you go down, and like every, every car ride is 40 minutes in New York City. Why are there so many people? There's just so many people <laughs> everywhere all the time. Find somewhere else to go. I actually don't think, like, having been in New York City for 48 hours, I don't think enough of them came to Florida. They just, there's so <laughs> no, many. No, no, too many of them. There's so yeah, many, many of them people in New York City. No, Why go somewhere else? There's, like, a great, vast <laughs> land. Like, this country is one of the biggest countries <laughs> in the it's world. More go to Iowa or something, Iowa. man. It's got culture. Let, let's recreate some culture somewhere else. Litty. Chris Cody dismisses T-ball. T-ball's ball. changed. I don't like it. My daughter's playing T-ball right now, and it's changed. You How know, it's, it changed? It's kind of like, you know, that everyone gets a trophy thing. I'm becoming one of the, I'm an old person now. And, you know, that no one gets out in T-ball anymore. If I hit a little dribbler ground ball to first base, and the first baseman picks it up and tags first, that little hitter should go back to the dugout. Not anymore. They all go to first base. Wow. They just all run around the bases. The last hitter comes up. It's like, all right, last hitter. Now you're all going to run around. Last hitter hits a home run every time, no matter how far he hits it. I just don't like it. These kids aren't learning how to play baseball. <laughs> My daughter thinks every time you hit it, you go to first base. And that's not how it works. Actually, you could be a really good hitter and only go three out of ten times. And that's what I'm trying to teach her, and it's hard to when you're always safe in T-ball. Billy Gill dismisses Valentine's Day. Part of Valentine's Day is completely inconveniencing yourself. You know what I mean? It's like, how many hoops am I willing to jump through to make the person that I love see that I'm going to be miserable on their behalf? Like, that's really what they want. That On Valentine's Day, your loved one wants to see you be as miserable as possible for them. They'll almost be inconvenienced just to watch you be inconvenienced and Max <laughs> uncomfortable, just to see that you care. Greg Cody dismisses Dan with, and you know it's... Coming from the man uh, opposite Stugatz, who last <laughs> season began, predicted a Super Bowl victory for the Dolphins, and they were only... Not close to that. Had Tua stayed healthy, that prediction would have come true. <laughs> okay. And you know it. And you know it. I don't know it. <laughs> right. And I don't know why you and think. And you know it.
know. And you know it. <laughs> and you know it. Get that shirt on the Greg Cody yeah, Show. Right. Com or thing and, thing. and you know it. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. There's no comeback. And you know it. You're at a loss for words, Dan. Yeah, have to. And you know it. And you know it. <laughs> and you do. You know it. Who God knows it. And you know it. And you know it. A healthy tour, and the Dolphins are having a parade on Biscayne Boulevard. Elbowing and, the and, you know. and you know it. And, and you know, you know, know it. Finish it that way, Greg. Chris Paul dismisses Dan for being mean to Billy Gill. One of the great basketball players for this time, even though all we do is rings culture, and so he doesn't have enough titles like LeBron, and so we somehow disparage and diminish a man who has been great. Which is by the way, and I think Chris can agree with me on that. This thank whole you. rings thing and this whole why is he putting out a book now, it's absurd. Yes, thank you, Billy, for all your contributions here. I'd like to not hear from you again. 61 <laughs> is the name of the book. Damn, Billy, you ain't got to take that, man. I'm Jeez. just saying, I'm here trying to defend <laughs> you. Dan does nothing but talk ass about you, and I'm like, that's my boy Chris. Stugatz dismisses pet owners. People who bring their pets to the pet supermarket go to hell. Oh, Speaking no. of hell. What are you doing? Or Bryles. I don't want to see your pet. Dan does that. I do not want to see no, your pet at the pet supermarket. Pet supermarket is the place you would take a pet I, if you, you know take what? a pet anywhere. You shouldn't be allowed to take your pet there. To the pet supermarket? Uh, leave your pets at home. I People who take their pets out for lunch, they take their pets for coffee, they take them to the pet supermarket. I don't want it. John Amici dismisses Elon Musk. He's a dangerous, dangerous man child. This is the kind of person who talks about being self-made, but coming from a, a, an apartheid South Africa and a family who benefited from that. This is the kind of person who talks about being self-made, but sets up in California and takes billions of dollars in, in public money in order to, to do what he's done. He's a cuckoo. He shows up, sits in the nest with his gaping wide open mouth and weird wrinkly skin, waiting to be fed, usually by the public purse, and then pushes out those who deserve around him. Sarah Spain dismisses Billy Gill. I wondered how he was elected, because that seemed like a poor choice from the jump. Whoa! We were trying to wow. go with the opposite of you. He's being well, so he nice did, to you. did it. <laughs> What's happening if here? If you wanted to imbue the position with zero integrity, Whoa. absolutely no gravitas, what? negative strength, <laughs> complete inability to enforce, what? and... What do I do? He's the only one who said you hello. Nailed it. I'm the only one that asked how you're doing today. Yeah, because yeah. you're terrified, Jeez. and that's not what we need from a commissioner. Yeah. Amin El Hassan dismisses Buffalo Bills fans. Let's be honest. I mean, like, what do you? What does that claim to fame? Wings? All right, congratulations. The table thing. Uh, okay. A couple well, dildos on the field. Squirting uh, condiments on <laughs> naked people. Like, like oh, the ketchup this, thing is weird. You Can we what? put that out? The ketchup thing is kind of weird. It's bizarre. It's not weird, Tony. When you look at through the prism of this constitutes entertainment for these people. They have no other options. I don't think the internet even gets there. <laughs> I think it's interesting <laughs> that they're like, hey, let's go to watch a game. All right, cool. You want to get there a little bit early? Yeah, sure. That's great. Let's get some drinks in. Okay. Then I'm going to jump through that table. Like the, the idea that, like, oh yeah, that's how we do here. It's ridiculous. Why are we entertaining this? Like, oh yeah, that's cool. That's the, oh, I want to do that too. I've seen media people from other places across the national landscape get so excited to go to Buffalo, watch my first Buffalo game, and jump through a table. Mike Ryan dismisses Dan for saying Stugatz always wins. It's just why Stugatz this, wins, Jessica, it, because everything that happened in the sport. Because you're he, always there to say he's winning when he's not making a winning <laughs> argument. How am so, I how not? About you stop saying he's winning. He's not. He's, I mean, I'm just so confused. Mike, Look at his eyes when he's Googling. He's lost Mike, right I'm not I'm looking at anything. I mean, I'm, I'm just sitting here looking at Twitter. I'm looking at you and Jess, and it's like watching Spotify someone trying because to. Because I keep having Dan tell me he's winning. I'm looking at you, it looks he's like, not winning. It's like you guys are trying to <laughs> tackle Barry. Sanders. He's like, not he's just, winning. He's Dan's not like there. The he judge. sounds just like, like <laughs> a fool. He's a buffoon. How do I he's sound like a fool? He's a buffoon. And there's Mike. just somebody behind him going, he's winning. He's Mike, winning. But this is what, what we're doing. What are we talking Zero about? Win. Zero what are we, what are we doing? One win. One win. Yeah, it's Two not wins. Thanos. It's not Bubbles. It's just a fool. And some other person saying he's winning. Well, what are you You're so upset this about? This is insanity. What are you upset Stop. about? I blame Dan. You want to know He's not winning.
He doesn't remember what he said. <laughs> what did I say? He thinks Ole Miss is ranked. He's <laughs> guy's are. a damn fool. 11 at the time, Just Michael. Stop, t- stop telling me he's winning. Yeah. Stugatz dismisses the Boston College lacrosse coach. Hey, BC yep. coach, how about you do me a favor, okay? Because I coached for 10 years, and my team went undefeated uh, two years in a row. We oh, won back-to-back boy. national championships. Right. Make anyone else beat you other than Izzy Skane, okay? She's the best lacrosse player in the country. You might want to double and triple team that girl. She's really good. Stugatz dismisses Andy <laughs> King. Some people um, would argue that you presided over the single worst era of the Levitard show with Stugatz. And if, if that is... <laughs> that was Andy if, King, year one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Stugatz dismisses Chris Rock. It was a year buildup to that special on Saturday night. Who the hell is talking about Chris Rock unless Will Smith does that? You know what Chris Rock did Saturday night on Netflix? He choked. I mean, he, he did. You literally he did. choked through that sentence. He, I know I did. Uh, but he choked, okay? I'm expected to choke. He's not. He's expected to nail it. He did not nail it. He appeared to be nervous. He appeared. Here's the key to comedy. Don't think so much. And when you're sitting on a joke for an entire year and you have to deliver it, chances are it's not going to go well. Mm. It did not go well for Chris Did Rock. you watch it? And he looked old. Stugatz dismisses his daughter Emma's hopes and dreams. I, I remember having a conversation with my other daughter, Emma, who's very much in the dance. But she's not so much in the dance where she wants to be a professional dancer, right? Yeah. Like, she took it seriously. She worked really hard, but I just know my daughter, and I know it's not something she wants to do because Mm -hmm. it's a lot of work, right? And so I remember telling her, hey, I'm so happy you're doing this, but you're probably not going to be a professional dancer. Okay, because you're not. what was that age? Because you did it there with Uh, the baby. She was six. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Greg Cody dismisses Jonathan Zaslow. Last time we saw Marino after Greg Cody oh, traded him, he threw for five touchdowns. Nice and he was hand. being the man on the I cover of Sports Illustrated. Mm. You can't trade Marino. Nice hand. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all be a three time <laughs> champion <laughs> broadcaster. Started. Oh, started. And he's not it's joining us. The guy for the wrong foot. You can't, you can't trade Marino. <laughs> okay. Get over it. That's not my fault. Get over it. It was 30 years ago. Get a life. And quit wearing a backward hat. You're a middle-aged man. Good Lord. Zaslow. Udonis Haslam dismisses Assalytics. UD, ESPN Analytics says you guys have a 3% chance to beat the Celtics. What say you? Who, who said that? ESPN <laughs> Analytics. The mathematical ESPN Analytics. Exactly. I'm sure I'm sure. I'm sure that. As Asalytics, uh, Asaholis, or whatever they call it, so <laughs> probably had us not beat in Milwaukee either in the first round. Yeah. Or the Knicks. Uh. I'm sure. I'm sure the Asalytics probably didn't have me sitting here with three rings and lead rebound in Heat history. I don't listen to Asalytics. Stugatz dismisses Prince Charles. Hey, Prince Charles, working a salad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that guy. Stugatz dismisses Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, two games at home with the best team in football. You won home games. <laughs> Do it on the now <laughs> you're going to Philadelphia. Yeah. Wait till you get a hold of that fan base and how they're going to treat you, Purdy. Do it on the road. Do it against Hurts. Do it in the postseason, and if you do, do it in the Super Bowl. Do it on a neutral field. How about that? How about we stop talking about Brock? Oh, Purdy, he's 8-0. Oh, Purdy, he hasn't lost the game. Oh, Purdy, statistically, he's been better than Mahomes and Burrow and Allen. How about you go win a big game on the road, Purdy? Uh, do it. I'm tired of this talk. Uh, Purdy's not good. Shanahan's not good. The team's okay. They're physical. They're big. They have great players. Debo's fine. But let me tell you what San Francisco and Kyle Shanahan are never going to do. They're never going to win a Super Bowl. You want to know why? They don't have a quarterback. Not Garoppolo. Not Lance. Not per- certainly not Purdy. Purdy. Get out of here. The sod father, George Toma dismisses oh. Eddie Mangan, Troy Vincent, and Roger Goodell for blaming him for messing up the Super Bowl grass. What Eddie Mangan did, how Eddie screwed up that field for the Bengals by overwatering it. And he did the same thing here. Yes, Mr. Mangan, you lied. You blamed the ryegrass for the cause of that disaster. Bull. Whoa! Whoa. I'm mad about it. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. I'm over the hill like I tell my ground crew. 
next year I'll probably, the Lord may put me in heaven, and I'll be looking down at your beautiful field. So he'll put me in hell, and I'll be looking up at your root system. What kind of root system? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sodfather has bars. This is a better angle. He has bars. all you want. <laughs> But apologize to the people that put you there and helped you. And kick yourself in the ass for not listening to somebody we, like we, we've graduated Travis from Hogan, Troy he Vincent, headphones. never came to me or anybody <laughs> on the ground crew Can we get your headphones to up? see. Like the rebels that I work with down south, they Wait. would say to Troy oh, Vincent, you. you're as useless as a parrot on the boar hog oh no that's what oh no okay us. i mean the rebels thing i didn't know where that was going either hold on you a have second to come back and roger goodell i have done everything for you you treated me well but last year he threw me over the cliff i would do this job for nothing and i'll fight anybody and all the way up to you mr goodell to give the players the safe playing field that you're not doing. And Troy, you better start working. Next year, if you don't do anything right, there's the door, and don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.